Hello everyone, welcome to the Silent Peacock Hotel. And this is m one of my ho new Halloween outfits for this year. A ghostly nurse. And we got our flashlight already that we'd get up front, but uh, we'll go ahead and make our way up to the hotel now. From this taxi. And this is one of the standouts that I saw this year, particularly. This uh, Peacock Hotel. It's very nicely done, as you can see on the outside just from here. Plenty of trees. They got a whole little uh, wall here. I don't know exactly what you would call it. Just like a... Oh, we got the rules right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. They made it look like an actual hotel, is what I'm trying to say, basically. And this place has quite a bit of work to it, and I checked out some of it earlier. Plenty of bats here and whatnot. Uh, there's also, as far as I know, actors here at the hotel as well. Um, when I came here earlier, there was one around. I don't know if they're still around or not. But uh, I'm sort of here fairly early in the day for a change of pace, to be honest. So I think later in the day they have more actors and stuff around. I guess they're supposed to be scary actors. I see something over here. Let's see if we can get over here. Looks like a pavilion or something along those lines over here. I don't know if there's a way actually in. Ah, here we go. And this looks to be a statue over here. Please donate. Okay. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's a wedding area. Okay. That makes sense. Guess the wedding didn't go so well. <laughs> and this place is... I do have advanced lighting on as per usual, and this place is pretty dark. The only source of real light that we have is the flash at my hand. <clears throat> which I guess sort of works like a... just an area around here. Oh, here's one of the actors right here, actually. And here we have the front of the hotel. Let's go ahead and see that. And there appears to be a barber shop over here, though I think we can get in from inside as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and head inside the hotel and see what awaits us. Got a guest book here. It's freaking scary. Don't go in alone. Warning. Welcome to the Silent Peacock Hotel. Very nice little thing right there. Welcome for us to the hotel. Here in the lobby, there's also these uh, people around that you can click on and see what they have to say. The desk manager also says something to us here. Pay no mind to the rumors, I assure you that our hotel is the finest establishment in all of Lost Shores. And this is the way back towards the Ooh, this is the way back towards the barber shop, but let's go ahead and take a look at this room first. Ah, that spider. Looks like someone has some interesting ideas for Flora in here. And we'll leave the spider alone to whatever's in that webbing over there. Is the barber home? I don't think so, but this at least shows us 
that they do such a good job that you don't even need a head anymore. This place looks like it's part of the, um, Second Life, uh, I think it's haunted, it's like Second Haunted Attractions or something like that, a group for that. When I used to do Village of Shadewell for two years, we were a part of that group too, so, and, uh, the sign outside at the beginning of this video that had the two skeletons, that'll give you a note card to a bunch of different, uh, places and whatnot that are a part of that thing, so it is a good spot to try and find uh, haunted stuff here in Second Life with those signs. In any case, we'll head to the back area of the hotel now. We've got some other people exploring around as well. Doesn't look like this door opens. This guy over here looks, uh, looks a bit dead. Playing with the Ouija board. And I guess this would be the theater area for the hotel, where you'd come up here and see whatever show's being performed. Looks like it would be a magic show right now. Well, I think I'll be skipping dinner today. Yeah, that actually sounds like a good idea. I think I'll be skipping it. I think at this point we can go ahead and head upstairs now, since obviously the elevator is out of order. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I'm sure they won't notice. Now we've got numerous floors to go through here. We got a message here from the owner. Welcome to the hotel. Please enjoy your stay. Smiles. That's nice. To the that was like to the entire region, I believe. Looks like a room where a scientist would live. <laughs> Somebody creating something in here? Help! Help! Where are those screams coming from? Help! Oh. Uh, uh, help me. I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll just leave now. Help! Help! So the doors that actually open up are the ones that have the doors that are a little bit out of the wall. I forgot to mention that, but that was on the sign back there. I think there's actually, yeah, there's one right here, too. Ah, there's something else in here as well. And I did want to say this, uh... Like I was saying, this place is pretty well done, I have to say. And that's why the reason I think it stands out very well is that every room in the hotel itself is very well designed. 
They all, every room has its own theme and whatnot. Yeah, we'll go ahead and head through the door and on to the next room on this floor, which I believe is this way. Uh. Ah, yes. The Room to Hell. I heard this one is a particular tourist favorite. And now we'll make it up to the second floor. Unfortunately, when I go through these rooms and come back, it resets everything. It uh, resets everything down here, so I have to wait for everything to res back up texture-wise again. Oh, that doesn't take any responsibility. Hello, skeleton. And this looks like it would be a room for maybe having a kids play in. Yeah. <laughs> Door doesn't open there. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, there must be somebody downstairs setting off that NPC. I was confused for a moment because I knew it wasn't from me. <laughs> and this looks like a room that would be for, I guess, based on the shining. You can see a couple references to the movie here, and also some movie posters. The windows, even even the windows are kind of referenced because it's a like a blizzard going on at a hotel. That's what the whole setting of the movie was, I believe. What does the type R say? It's been a long time since I've watched The Shining, but I've I also read the book of it as well, too. That's pretty nice, even the typewriter has the reference. And, uh, I just want to say, uh, now that I did have to go through here, um... I did go through a bit of the building beforehand, and uh, with some of the stuff, I did have to uh, edit out a bit. 
So if you want to see the full hotel for what it is, uh, I would I highly suggest coming while it's still around. Well, if you want to come out, Mr. Skeleton, I, I'll wait on you, but otherwise I'm going to head on up to the stairs here. Oh, that would uh, that would explain why the elevator is out of order, wouldn't it? Well, that's one mystery solved at least. And here we have the good old exorcist room. Don't touch. I gotta touch it then. Three thirteen. This is a nice little library here, although the books are just everywhere. Hopefully the maid comes soon, right, Mr. Invisible Man? And the tea pot even pours itself. I believe there's one more room up here, I believe. Ah, here's the maid. Sorry for f shining the flashlight right in your face. Got a bit of a... there we go. I had to cancel the sit. And it looks like we just got caught up in an alien invasion. Yeah. Poor guy. It was only a weather balloon. Alright then, let's go ahead and continue heading up then. Banner is keep out. That means keep going. Your soul is mine. 
And this is the last floor here. Now it seems to be out of order. Can't imagine why. Looks like they sealed off this passageway though. Oh. That may make sense. But in any case, that is the Haunted Silent Peacock Hotel. And I highly recommend coming and taking a look at it yourself for the Halloween season. I'm just going to make my way back downstairs. And I'll be back soon enough with a another Halloween place. Soon enough. Till then, happy Halloween.